welcome back to Thief Simulator. Today we finish off Greenview Street and hopefully buy the van. My only issue with that is that I may very well need to buy the uh, hacking PVA so that we can get into some of the houses in the next street, but we'll see how much money I make off of here since there is another vehicle to steal here. But we're definitely buying the van before buying the hacking PVA. If need be, I can come back here and steal uh, in between videos and steal enough stuff to buy the hacking PDA. I'd much rather buy the hacking laptop over the PDA, but once again, we'll just have to wait and see how much money we have at the end of that because we're only about a thousand bucks off of the van. Like we're a thousand and three dollars because I do believe that it is thirty five thousand for the van. Um, so yeah, this is house 101. It is the technically hardest house on this street. There is a camera there which if we look as you can see covers the well you can't really see because of that but it covers more or less the entire front door like you can't get past it uh you can pull your vehicle up and jump over these hedges here uh but obviously that's going to be very suspicious but once again you know people don't really find shit that suspicious um the other thing uh, let's see the one guy the other thing is one of these guys does have a gun I actually don't remember there even being two people but uh, and apparently there's lattice there that I can climb up uh, this gate here is more or less right the walk pick uh, the main way that you, they expect you to go in uh, but like I said you can hop the fence if you pull your vehicle up next to it you also have this which uh, oh, I guess I don't have the lock pick for it. But anyway, when you open it up, you can turn off the power and it shuts off the camera for a small amount of time. It's a really weird game mechanic because it's the only place that has this. Like, they introduced this like it's going to be a thing, and then it just isn't. Like, at no point does it come up. All right, so let's see if there's two of them. The one's gone for quite a while. So if we go in... Well, actually, you know what? Let's check here. The Smiths. So when they're out, kitchen, bedroom, 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 for a long period. Okay, so that's perfect. Because if they're in one place for a large chunk of time, that will make it all the easier because then we can just go everywhere. I'm assuming also since it's a bedroom and it uh, would be at night that they're sleeping during that time. Um, I mean, we still have to be quiet, obviously, but really not gonna let me there we go okay so that was what 8 p.m. so we'll go to 7 okay I wish there was a way to wake up but not get out of the car all right so we will shall take that we'll need this uh, I'll take that that and that and then actually jobs break break okay so there is break Oof, break a window on the second floor. That's... You see, the rest of the breaking things are fine, right? Because we should, in theory, depending on how close their bedroom is to the... Um, uh, whatchamacallit. It should, in theory, be fine. Now, I'm going to try something here. And I'm going to... Oh, apparently get the car stuck. There we go. And I'm gonna try this. Like that this is another reason why I wanted to go to seven. Okay, so if we open up this. Boosh. There we go. Now we have a timer at the top as you can see where until the electricity is fixed. Uh for some reason it's not letting me jump. Did they put like a fucking oh I was going to say, they put like an invisible ceiling there so that you can't specifically do what I'm attempting to do here. If they did, they fucked it up, but there we go. Onto the box. Onto the fence, and boosh. Oh, oh. Okay. That one's going out. That one's going to the kitchen. All right. So let's see. Out in there. Garden. I don't know. Would this be considered a porch? 
I mean, probably, because it has two things and a thing of cash, so this apparently could serve their porch. Alright, so he is supposed to be out, but has apparently bugged to be standing at the door that I was hoping to enter through, but that's fine. Actually, come to think of it, is it fine? Did I bring the glass cutters? Uh, I did not bring the glass cutter. Well, that's a shame, because I was going to say, that's fine, I can just pop open the garage. But I did not bring the glass knife, which means I cannot. Uh, now, thankfully, this house is up a little bit on a hill. So they don't see you quite as easily from outside. But yeah, as you can see, the, uh, the camera is now considered off. Oh, did he disappear? Oh, he did disappear. All right, I'm running around to the back door. Although she's in the kitchen, odds are... Or he's in the kitchen. I guess she went out. So, 9 o'clock, then bedroom. Yes, alright. Okay, go into the bedroom. And I'm assuming sleeping. Good, bedroom's upstairs. Come on. There we go. There we go. Now, the door to... Uh, the door leading out to the street, not the door. The gate is... Uh, we can open that, and I can't remember where it is in this house. Let's see, there is one thing of cash, and Jesus Christ, a lot of fucking stuff in this kitchen. Let's see, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen things in this kitchen. Jesus Christ. Um. Oh, I guess I shut out the electricity to their whole house, too. Not even just their, uh, uh, just their camera. I guess that makes sense. It does say electricity will be fixed. Uh, now I think that's 8 or 9. 10, 11. Oh, there's a thing of cash. There. Let's see, can he hear me walking around? He cannot. Good. Um... No. Although there is a hall closet apparently. Okay, how many things do I have? Because I got two things from outside. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's actually two things left in here apparently. I shall take this. Outside chuck it over the fence okay there we go and he went to bed that's good uh, and actually if he's in bed I should be able to oh right the electricity though duh I did that now nah, I feel dumb oh wait a minute there we go there we oh fuck me my inventory's already full damn alright well we got a painting here we'll take that and then I will have to go and open the gate leading out. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to take a quick look here to see if there's anything that's considered upright. Um, there should not be anything considered upright. So then with that, I think the door to the gate might be... Because, like, you can usually see the gate from where... I'm going to leave that cache just so I don't forget that it's there. Like, you can usually see the gate from where you can open it. Alright. I also don't know if you can uh, steal a car without uh, disabling the alarm or not. I should go and uh, 
since everything's open now. And this car will get pulled out with me. And I don't want to, because I'll have to, if I get in the car and hotwire, you may remember, I think I said this when we stole the truck, that if you hotwire a car and then get out of it, you will have to hotwire it again when you go in. Like, you can't get out and leave it running. Uh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, wait, there it is. Yay. Okay, there's both paintings. All right. God, there are so many people just like at this corner of the house. It's so weird. No, go. Okay, quiet down. All right. Oh, I know yet that didn't wake him up. That's weird. I also love how, like, everybody seems to know everybody in this town. Like, you can be, like, in somebody's yard and they're like, hey, you're not supposed to be there, you know, because the random pedestrian knows. Um, and yet you can get into a car and drive around in the stolen car and nobody seems to know that. It's like, hey, that's not his car. S rank, even got the car. See, there it is, right there. Boom. All right. We shall get this out. there is a bunch of flat things in the house uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I mean do I even need the climbing gloves because I don't really see okay well I don't oh whoops uh, where did that go I want to put that back in the box in the car I don't know why I'm still looking through there I also never found the uh, I don't even remember what it was now something to break anyway all right so i won't need the car lock pick gun anymore uh but i think it shouldn't make that big of a difference having the gloves on me so i'll leave them there for now uh, i really wish you could choose where you enter from like that would be a very nice just like minor change to this also thanks to that job we're even closer i forgot that like oh shit that like the jobs will also give us money so like the fact that uh oh you know what i also don't have to worry about breaking the window on the second floor because i can wait until i'm completely done and then uh, just throw a brick at it. There, and there. Get in the door. All right. Okay, one base up there. Now we'll crouch down because we will be getting closer to him. Okay, so let's see. What about the living room? Well, that doesn't look. All right, well, I guess there are some gifts in there. All right, so there's a painting. There is one thing of cash, and then there is one, two, oh, and a TV. So, oh, although I already got the painting, so there's just the TV. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 things to steal out of here too. Jesus Christ, this guy is, these guys are loaded, which makes sense. It's a nice house. It has the extra security. Two. You know, I should probably make it a habit of uh, checking doors in that last. Because, like, if all 12 things happen to be out in the open and I don't have to go through the doors, that would be obviously ideal. That's four, five, six. Take your time. Um, and, yeah, I guess I also don't know how much is in this safe because there is, like, two bracelets, so... A mistake there i looked away from the lines and i looked at the actual lock like it was gonna fucking tell me something are these really all gonna be in 40s Ooh, so close okay so that's six seven eight 
nothing on the bottom shelf, eh? Uh, nine. There's the one thing in cash. Ten. Eleven. Okay, so there's one more thing. You do walk. Oh, sh I was gonna say you do walk a little bit slower when you're carrying stuff. So I was kind of gonna rely on that to not alert the guy, but yeah. Okay, so there's one more thing somewhere in here. And I have no idea where, and odds are, by the looks of it, it will fill up my bag. Oh, and there it is. Boosh. Nice. Okay, so considering that my bag looks like it's full, and we've cleared this out, let's see. We got that painting, we got the TV, we got that painting. Now, I'm pretty sure I saw... Okay, so there are a couple more paintings, and we can hold one of those, and it's in the corridor which is actually upstairs. Okay. So we'll head upstairs and grab a painting. Uh, what time is it? 3.19. Okay, well, hopefully the painting is... Dang it, right. Oh, they're tossing and turning. That usually means that they will spot you if you get too close, even in the dark and crouching and them sleeping, if they're tossing and turning. Although, I'm not sure that it actually makes a difference, because there have been times where, like, I went into a room when somebody was sleeping and not moving even a little bit, and they, uh, they still 100% woke up as soon as, like, I walked in the room and they detected me. Okay, so let's... Eh. Yeah, yeah, you're there, yeah, whatever. And actually, I can get around this way to get out. Oh shit, they're leaving. Oh no, I didn't want to crouch. There we go. Okay. Now I don't remember whether or not that gate being open leads to a detection or not. Uh, if they check the back door that I went in, they will see that it's locked and that will obviously alert them. Uh, because you know how easy it is to tell if, uh, the door is unlocked or not. But I'm not sure if the gate, because I remember leaving gates open a lot. I guess they can't really be that, because there are in the next, or on the next street, there are multiple, like, cars. Like, there's not just two. I think there's three, maybe four. And they all have gates that you have to open to get out, right? And they all have guards. And most of the time, there is at least one guard next to the gate for at least some amount of time. Like, not necessarily like all night, but for enough of the night, or I guess enough of the day slash night, that uh, it can be an issue. Okay, let's throw the TV up there. the what is it it's wine glasses that i have to steal because like the window i'm not worried about okay so they're leaving right now or they should be gone right now right or they just came back they're in the toilet so you know what i think i shall wait until 8 p.m again so let's just have a little bit of a nap and we shall resume in the morning. Or in the next evening, I guess. Now, obviously, I will need... Which actually, depending on how much is in the corridor in that... Um, when they leave, right? Assuming they don't call the cops by seeing the back door unlocked. But I don't know why they'd be leaving through the back door. Um... That would be the ideal time to get in there, because like if I'm already on the second floor, which shouldn't be that hard to do, um, then all I'll need to do is just hide in, well, whatever room is up there. I don't know what all they got for rooms upstairs. I wonder if that dent makes it easier. Huh, it, that dent may actually make it easier to climb up here. Um, like, all I would have to do is just chill out 
up or chill out up there. That's the order of those words. Camera in front of the house, break wine. Oh, okay, so the wine glasses are actually upstairs. And I could break those while they're out, and then they won't notice. Um, oh, I could also get the glass knife and go through the garage right now, which actually, since I'm... Since I do need to actually wait for that one to go upstairs to the bedroom. Uh, glass knife. And you know I'm going to throw the climbing gloves back in there, because I clearly don't need them. Oh, and actually, I shouldn't need... Uh, what are the odds they have more than one safe? Probably not good. I'm going to... I might regret that. Good, but, you know, you never know when I might find that, you know, have, like, one thing left that happens to wait, and, you know, that point one load. Wow. All right, that picture of the snowboarder there really looked like there was an actual person standing there for a second, and it scared the shit out of me that door all right let's see here now there it was how much in the garage living room done kitchen done garage. oh just the car and that thing in cash that was it all right so yay I guess now I just okay so that guy left there in the kitchen do I where's the stairs yeah I'm not making that so I'll just chill here until dude goes to bed and then I might actually pop this door open right. Well, no, because I can climb out one of the t upstairs windows and leave that way. I will pop the uh, the gate open before I head upstairs, but uh, I'm not going to worry about exiting through the house. Because uh, it also doesn't really make that big of a difference where I put any of the paintings because it actually looks I don't know I still have like three paintings so there's that and hang on I just need to find the corridor again there we go so yeah there's like one more painting in the corridor but then there's two in one of the other rooms so I will have yet another at least one more trip back here I also love how they don't get up to check the, uh, all right, now let's see if I can, there we go, and I don't have to worry about that, all right, now let's see, how much is in the corridor, uh, I still have one more painting, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things, and a thing of cash, all right, that's not too bad, I remember this house being like a giant pain in the ass when you come here in the story because I want to say that that person may not leave at all in the story like they might just be here at all times because they're the one with the gun uh, how many things I got one two three four out of fuck what was it one two three four five six seven eight yeah so I got half the shit already I also don't see other painting come to think of it I just realized god dude oh there it is dude fucking stomps like a motherfucker okay so if that's there you know what let's let's do this and eh, out the window now I could in theory turn on the lights as well Or I could have also brought in my flashlight with me, which probably wouldn't have been a bad idea. Wow, nothing, eh? All those drawers. Oh, God, it's quiet, quiet. The drawers are the thing that you're going to fuck up the most when you're playing this game. Now, there wasn't a thing there, was there? No, okay. Because, like... Oh, you know what? I should actually... Am I 
screwed with this window. Uh, I hate that you can't fucking close the windows from inside. It's such a pain in the ass, which means that as soon as that guy gets up, he's going to see that window open. He's going to immediately call the cop. I wonder, what's this turn on? Ah, okay. Yes, because who wants a light to be from... Or who wants a light switch to be in the room that it turns the lights on in? Oh, there's two more. Okay. There's three. Come on, I need one more item. Last drawer. Did I miss count? Am I just missing something? I think I need to find the light switch. That actually controls the... Uh, Seriously, who puts... Although, I guess my one friend's house has that. I mean, uh, their bathroom light switch, for some reason, is in the hallway. It's, like, two inches from the actual, like, bathroom door, but it's still weird to me. What the hell is with that weird... I guess it's just part of the uh, wallpaper. It's just in a weird position. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I really miscount? You know, it's, no, I do have that. So one, oh, you know what? I may have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, eight. I mean, let's see, I got a phone, I got a mouse, I got a USB flash. It says that there's a glass, yeah, a glass plate. Which I don't have. Tall vase, a yellow vase, a blue. I mean, the glass plate's the only thing that's not there. But the question is is the glass plate a story thing? Like, it could very well be that the glass plate is a story thing that isn't here. Because the thing is, like, on the little wiki there that I'm using, um, Okay, good. There is a closet I can hide in. That's good. The um, it says right at the top that like in a different color means that they're uh, story based things, but obviously it. But for some reason on my phone it doesn't show that. All right, so in the whole closet there's three things of cash and a green vase. So there's a green vase. One thing of cash. Unfortunately, cash could be literally any. That's two. And there's a lot of fucking drawers in here, man. But I mean, I really want it because we're actually almost to the van already. Like, li like this one thing in cash will... Oh, there it is. Good. I don't have to search that much. All right. So there. We have officially had the van, which means everything that we sell will go towards a hacking PDA... Preferably a hacking laptop, but let's face it, the odds of me getting that much is slim. Now, it is good to know that I can hide in there. And in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to open this, make sure that I can hide in it. And then so that he doesn't see it's open, I'm going to close the door. Because while they are good at keeping track of what cupboards and that are open, they're absolutely horrible at keeping track of what doors have been left open in their house. All right. So there's a, I see that there's a TV in here. And no painting, which is weird because, oh, so we're in bedroom two. So bedroom three has a painting, bedroom two has a TV. So in bedroom two, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven things, one thing of cash, and a piggy bank. So there's the thing of cash, there's the piggy bank. Piggy banks are weird because as you can see there, it says one load. But when you pick it up, you immediately take whatever money's in it. And, like, the piggy bank itself isn't a thing. Like, you just pick it up and get money. But the weird thing is, is that if you don't uh, have that one load space, you can't pick up the piggy bank, even though your guy does not keep it. It's very weird. Same with, like, the weird sack boy doll there that they got. Okay, 
So they have two controllers up here and a TV, but I don't see a, uh, a console anywhere. I'm also checking on just everything now because I fucking... I haven't been keeping track of what I've picked up or how, and I don't remember how many things I'm supposed to have, so. Oh, and that's that. All right. So is that the back? Um, I guess it doesn't matter because I can just throw it out here and then pick it up anyway. Uh, let's see, so backpack's full. I could potentially go, and you know what? I will. I'll actually just, do I? Yeah, I risk it. All right. Crowbar, quick slot there. It says where it's pointing to the wine glasses, right? Glasses somewhere. If are the wine glasses in a fucking drawer? Uh, hang on. No, it should be good for the moment. Seriously though, are the wine glasses that I'm supposed to be breaking inside a fucking drawer? That would be well, super weird. I'll close that while I look. Seriously, like, maybe they're in that, I, you know what, I bet you that they're in the bedroom and just up against that wall, and that's why it's being like that. Oh, oh. Oh man, they didn't do anything about the window? That's awesome. And they're gone. All right, well, that'll give me time to uh, pop out here, which shouldn't hurt. Grab the TV. You know, I'll throw it over the back so that it's... Oh, that actually wasn't the TV. God, that... That fucking picture, again, got me. I was like, oh shit. And then I was like, oh wait. There's no outline around that person. All right. So yeah, the gate clearly doesn't bother them. Well, that'll work. Uh, and did they change it so that the windows don't bother people either? Because there's no way that he didn't see that that window was open. And I know for a fact that that used to bother them. Because that was like one of the main reasons why it was so fucking annoying that it was like next to impossible to actually close a window after you've opened it from the inside because it's like oh i want to open the window and throw this out but you know if i open that window it's over okay so we got one thing left in bedroom three then we have bedroom two and one or just and bedroom bedroom i guess oh uh, we should only have one more flat thing but i'll take both out just in case there. Good. Okay. Alright. Okay, so I never managed to break the glasses, but that's fine. Let's see. Actually, come to think of it, that one guy goes to the toilet when they come home, and the toilet itself is considered to be on floor one. So if I get in there and get up the stairs fast enough um I should be oh god but he's only gone until 6 do I want to rest until 5 or even 4 so that I can get in and get ready you know what? I think I do let's sleep for 23 hours I'm sure that's healthy Because now we should, that guy should be in bed, the chick should be gone. Uh, so 
yeah, the guy should be in bed for about an hour before you leave. That should be close enough. Oh shit, are they really already gone? All right. Uh, you know what, I still actually want to cut through. Oh, you know what, I forgot to take into account the time it takes to uh, okay. crowbar out, get to the bedroom. Aha, all right. That was the main thing I wanted to get done because that's obviously going to be the most noise. Let's see that. Room is, like we cleared this room, right? Yeah. What the hell were we missing in this? Oh, right, it was in the cupboard, right? Yeah, there it is, all right. Okay, so bedroom three is now clear, or two, whatever. Now I'll quickly rifle through, oops. Okay. I was gonna say I'll quickly rifle through what I can until dude gets home, but he's home. Thankfully he, ah, oh, fuck me, and there was another safe. Fuck. All right. So bedroom one. Hang on. Let's see. How much is in here? Two things of cash, but one of them could be in the safe. One, two, three, four, five. Only five things. And I've got two and no way of knowing how many of these things, no, three, are in that safe. Now, I know that one of these things on here, I don't think I counted it in the five, but it's probably supposed to be in the safe, but it's a story item, so it won't be there. Okay. So I guess I'll just have to check everything here. I don't know where that other person goes when they come home. But uh, to be fair, I'm pretty sure. Oof. Oops, actually, let's check our notes here. Because porch, kitchen, toilet, garage, living room, toilet, too. Oof. So I have until noon before the chick comes upstairs. And okay, so I have until 10 a.m. basically before anyone comes upstairs. And even then, they go to the toilet. So, I mean, it's not like I'm in a rush to get out because I well, that would be a very quick hide and then you know just wait for them to go out also I believe just leave I feel like I just left something open in there okay so this should be bedroom two god my inventory is already almost full okay so I mean the main thing I want is that painting so I'll have to come back anyway, based on my uh, backpack space here. Uh, oh, sorry, bedroom two is clear. We're now in bedroom three. So there's one, two, three. There's four things to pick up, which isn't bad. Uh, I've already got one. Uh, and then there's one. Oh, actually, there isn't even that many. There's one, two three things to pick up, one thing of cash which and a piggy bank, which I've already got. So and I don't think there's anything in there, because you can't actually reach that cupboard properly. Oh, there we go. That's two. So there's one more thing to pick up. Could be anywhere in here, unfortunately. Because it just says headphone. Because that would be the headset. We got something else. We got what? the hell did we pick up in here? Headset. I don't even know. Oh, it became light outside. There's another headset, so that was... There's a mouse. Alright, so apparently we hadn't actually got anything, but that's three items, so that... Good Christ. Like I said, trying to do this slowly, like multiple of them in a row, is where it'll get you. 
Okay, so torch and toilet. As long as I get this painting out, I should be good. Uh, what is that? Hammer in front of the house, which means that's the front, which means... Uh, sh You know, I would have to go downstairs. You know what? You're in the porch, you're in the toilet. Oh, you came inside the kitchen for a second. You sneaky bitch. And neither of them heard that car gate open this time. Nice. Uh... This is where I wish that you could fucking. Oh, oh god, good! It did jump out of, or it did pop out of the uh, light range. Okay, so that did not fill my backpack, and all I have left now is that safe upstairs, right? Like I've got everything else. Pop in here, get the safe cracking tools, and you know what? I'm gonna grab the climbing gloves. I don't need the crowbar. I still have like 10 load, which should be more than enough. I can get back in through there. Uh, and I could make a. Okay, so I did pop out the window. Unfortunately, there's a fuck ton of people, like right on this corner again. There. And I don't know how well this will work. Oh, people outside don't see me. Okay, good. So they did fix that. Because it used to be that you would get stuck whenever like you would come through a window with something underneath it. Uh, you would get stuck a lot because it would just like plant you on the ground. So you'd be stuck in the thing and your only option was to uh, turn around and climb back out the window and find a new one. But I see that they have at least somewhat fixed it. Which is good, because it was rather annoying. Come on. Okay, they're both in the downstairs toilet. Good. Oh yeah, like that. Alright. So now let me double check here. We did the hall closet, we did bedroom three. Did bedroom two, we did the bedroom, corridor, porch, garage, kitchen. Yeah, okay. So I think we got everything in here. For some reason, I, I have this sneaking feeling that we did miss something. Uh, because, like, there was that one... That one item in the corridor that we couldn't find... But I, like I said, that may have very well been a story thing. It'd be a weird story. I don't remember a story thing being, hey, go steal a go steal a glass plate from these guys. But I mean, that doesn't mean anything. But anyway, that was everything out of 101. So we have 36,000. All right. I'm going to pop the TV in there. Okay, now I'm going to... Hang on, let's see. Do I actually have a way to do that? Uh, fade, transition, duration, I don't know, whatever. All right, so it took us about 44 minutes or so to steal everything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unlock everything. I will take everything apart, um, and then I'll be back, including the car. So yeah, I will unlock it all, I'll take everything apart, and then I'll be back in a second so that we can go and sell it all and see just how much we made and buy our, um, buy our van so that we get to go into the new neighborhood. Okay, now I realized that we never broke a window on the second floor, so hopefully... Eh. Boosh, job done. Okay, so now that was the last job, which means that that is all of the money that we can get without selling stuff. I have already disassembled everything, and I took apart the car. 
Um, so now we shall go and see what all we have that we can sell on Black Bay, which besides the car part, I don't think anything else really will show up on here, but you never know. actually not a lot left on art car parts the cylinder head power steering gear box and the wheels all of that good money so we had 36,000 by the way I mean roughly 36,000 I guess nothing in kitchen nothing in other and there's no antiques there so yeah that's about what I expected so we're already at 42,000 and we have not sold any of our parts or the car so we'll go get rid of the car. Uh, and it's actually looking rather good for getting the hacking laptop oh. instead of, the, I think, if it, if it is as much as I remember anyway. Oh, look at all those parts I pulled out. It took, so, well, what did I say it was? 44 minutes? So yeah, it took me almost 20 minutes to fucking, like, rip that car apart. Because, like, I've been recording for just over an, another 20 minutes since I cut. And uh, yeah, it doesn't take that long to take the jewelry apart or hack the phones. So most of that time is spent just taking the car apart. It is such a pain in the ass. Yeah, look at that. We're already up to 56 grand. Like, yeah, not a problem, I think. Like I said, I know that I have enough for the band because that was only 35,000. And I want to say that the uh, hacking laptop was 12,000, but I could very well be wrong on that. Uh, no. Pop the trunk. Load a couple more things in. Painting, how, wait, wait, wait. How much was this painting worth? 1,900 for the sunset painting, damn. Yeah, I feel like we are going to really blow the amount of money that we need out of the water here. I also realize that since I still have like two more trips, Welcome I back. shouldn't have really bothered to have been that picky about whether or not I get that one extra load in. Oh, also, I'm not going to like get out and go back, but I had to do that so I could pick up the brick. Because, you know, even though you just carry it in your hand, it still requires you, just like the uh, the piggy banks, even though that you don't actually put it in your bag, uh, it does not count, or it still counts as you having an extra load. Man, I actually am going to need to come back, you know, maybe I should be a little bit more picky. I guess I went, every time I left the house, I did more or less have a full bag, didn't I? Remember, you can only get up to 34, because that last load is there, I guess, for nothing on the off chance that you need to randomly pick up something that's point one. Welcome back. Okay. Oof, up to 60 grand already. You know, maybe the... Was the hacking, because I want to say that there, I'm thinking that the hacking laptop pro was 25 grand, but now I'm worried that that was the regular hacking laptop. Because like the hacking laptop is far and away superior to the hacking PDA, because like the hacking PDA gets you into st certain things that you can't remotely hack with the laptop, but you never need it, you know? Like, there's always, like, for the most part, it gets you through, like, the the doors. Wait, was that all of the paintings and shit? Just to double check, yeah. Like, it will get you through some stuff that you can't remotely hack, but I, I remember never actually needing it because there was always another way. Now, granted, a lot of those ways did involve the yeah, glass cutter uh, into a room that had some place immediately to hide, but, you know, still. All right. So there we go, 60 grand. So we made, let's see, we didn't even have 35 grand. We were at what, 30, I remember at one point we were at 3,300 because we needed like 100 and some bucks or something. 
So let's say we made roughly 27,000 just off of that house alone. So boosh, buying the van because fuck yeah, screw you little bitch car. Um, so let's pull all this out. Now I don't remember how many places you can use the micro camera on in uh, the next neighborhood. I don't think it's all of them. Nope, we'll put all that in there. Uh, we got our nice big van now that we can go and uh, oh, steal so much stuff. Because as you can see, it can hold three upright and five flat. And those three upright spots will be full almost every time. Because if I'm remembering correctly, at the beginning, I will end up filling neither of those slots, I think, in the first couple houses that we go to. Maybe? I don't know. I don't think that it takes more than a couple trips to get all the flat items out now, because there's obviously five slots, and that's a lot, even for like the size of the houses that we're going to. But those three upright and nothing. Like... By the time you meet, make it to like the last ones, you, oh god, the hacking laptop was 56 grand. I was way off. Uh, so do we even want the hacking PDA? You know what, I'm not going to buy it yet. Because we will need the car key signal clone and we're only three grand away from that. So I'm not going to worry about the hacking PDA as of yet because for the most part there's other ways to get in and out of the houses that are there. But that has been it for today, and that has been it for Greenview Street. Um, next week, we shall start on Richie Rich Street, or Richie R Street. I guess I don't actually know that the R stands for rich, but I mean, let's face it, it does. Um, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven properties there, I think, including one massive property. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, sorry, there's seven. Yeah, there's seven properties. Did I say six, really? No. Nope. Mm, whatever. So, yeah, there's seven properties. I don't know which one we'll go to first yet. Because um, I vaguely remember some of them. Like, I know some of them are a lot easier to get into and out of than others. But then, uh, until we get the car key signal cloner, I don't want to do any of the houses that have a car in them because you need that for every car in Richie Rich. I was going to say past this point, but there's a couple vehicles that you steal in the last area that doesn't require that. But um, Yeah. So I know that there's I want to say that there's three different cars in Richie Rich Street. But we may very well hit up 204 first. Because I remember it being very easy to get in and out of. Um, I remember not needing the hacking PDA at all in it. Uh, do I need? The, I do need the climbing gloves. Uh, and then there's saves. And there's a bunch of antiques in there. It's a giant pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie. Because it's huge. There's like four guards. It is probably one of the harder houses. If not... I, I'd say it's probably the... I, I'm going to say it's the second hardest house. Just because there's one more that gave me a little bit more trouble, but that may but that had more to do with like the schedule of the guards than anything else. So since this is uh, New Game Plus and that schedule is slightly randomized, it may differ now. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll hit up 204 first because that should give us a huge amount of money. Uh, it has a bunch of antiques in it. It has a bunch of paintings in it. Like we're going to load this van up like a motherfucker. Um, and yeah, hopefully fun will ensue. So thanks everybody for watching and I will see you next week for more.